All right, hey everyone. So I'm playing around with a new product and I'm gonna just share it with you real quick. It's the um, glass coating from Invisible Glass, which is a Stoner's Car Care. So this is a 9H hardness coating uh, from Invisible Glass. It's brand new, was announced during SEMA 2021. So they, they're the makers of um, Invisible Glass. So in order for me to get this, uh, they had a 20% uh, discount code. So I had to get their glass stripper and the uh, glass cleaner in order for to get this to get that 20% off uh, I really primarily just wanted the, the coating. I tried the glass stripper. It's, it's a bit um, Painful to use um, it's harder to wipe off. I ended up going to the McKees one now part of the um, Well, let's just get to the, what the product is again. It's a ceramic coating. It says SiO2 uh, Double doubles glass hardness. This is a 9h rated coating again. They're just saying that long-lasting protection. I believe they said it can last up to a year or longer depending on how you maintain it. And um, they're saying it's uh, gonna protect, uh, it's gonna prevent dirt, insects, salt, and ice from bonding to treated glass, making it easier to clean. Okay, the 9H hardness is supposed to prevent micro scratching from heavy cleaning. Okay, easy to apply. Yes, that's true. I just did this um, passenger side. So I wanted to just show you. I wanted to get that side to kind of figure out what's going on with the coating here. How long it takes to flash. Um, and it says it resist, also resist UV rays, heat, and weather, which can fade or peel coating such as clear coat paint or varnish. And uh, in the kit, you get the, the gloves, a 130ml bottle, an applicator pad, uh, I was playing around with two two things. The applicator pad, which is this suede block thing. We, you know, they come with many different coatings. Then I had a little bit, uh, one square of a coating saver applicator. And I was using the gray side. So I think I'm going to use the gray, the coating saver applicator. I think it worked better uh, on it. And then you get the two towels, the gray and black buffing cloth. They say they use the black one first because the gray one's your final plush one. And the application guide. So the application guide... It's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, it gives you the basics. So if you guys want to pause it here and read read this, here's all the information. Let me get my finger out of the way. They basically said that anybody can install this, whether you're a DIYer or a professional. Okay, so let me. Okay, first thing you do is gonna clean the glass. Of course, they recommend their invisible glass, then they to use your the glass stripper, which is gonna remove anything from the surface. I tried it, I ended up going to the McKees one because the McKees one's just better, to, just overall better. This one um, takes a little bit more effort to wipe off. I tried it and I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna work that hard to, to remove it, but it does work. Um, and then there's no mention of a panel wipe or anything. I ended up coming back with Optimum Paint Prep just to make sure that there was no residue left, especially with using the, the McKees one. They recommend installing it in a controlled environment and above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Work two by two section and remove the cap and you're gonna be doing, it says two, apply two milliliters to the applicator pad and you're gonna apply it, got a plug in here. Uh, over soaking can prevent, can result in uneven application crosshatch pattern it says this product is activated by air keep the bottle tightly closed after dispensing to avoid immediate hardening okay and then they, of course they said you have within one to five minutes after application it's time to start buffing your test area um, I've been kind of playing around with it uh, for me it's like around the four minute mark is about the um, time to wipe it off I was timing it just now and then they come back with the gray towel to, as your insurance towel and then it says we recommend uh, coating no more than three square feet at a time. And do not wash your vehicle for two to four hours after coating to facilitate, facilitate curing. Uh, and then here if you want to do any type of high spot correction. Uh, if it's more than ten minutes you're going to have to um, Or it says if it looks for ten minutes or more if it's completely dry and looks streaky and uneven. So if you notice streaking and rainbow or rainbow effects within two to four hours you can just simply reapply more coating. Uh, if it's longer than that, uh, they recommend to strip it off with their glass stripper. And then they talk about um, maintenance, which is their one with rain repellent and layers. Um, they basically said that two two coats is more than enough. Anything more than that is um, not going to get you anything. It says, um, 
Once you open the bottle, it's best to be used within 14 days. It starts to cure in the bottle. Hopefully that's not true. I'm going to put it on the shelf and see what happens because I wanted to use it on my, on my brother's car too. If you choose to add layers, wait two to four hours before adding another coat. After each layer, keep the coating from getting wet from, for two to four hours. Recommend a maximum of three layers before removing it with glass stripper and reapplying invisible glass ceramic. So uh, let's go on the other side and I'm going to apply it with the coating saver applicator. This one worked okay, um, but I just like the coating saver one. It just um, went on uh, smoother with it. I'm doing this. Um, I was trying both and I was like, you know what? I still have another sheet of this one left. Let me just go ahead and, and use it. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this guy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and drop some product on there. We're gonna go ahead and do this. I was playing around with some other coatings here on the side glass. And then um, I'm just going to go ahead and circle so you can see it goes on pretty thick. One thing I noticed when trying to wipe it off on the other side is this coating is not slick whatsoever. Um, I was hoping it was slick like the PNS coating. And it's at, well, it could be. I mean, I don't know. Maybe after it cures, um, it will kind of slicken up some. But see, I couldn't get this much um, with the suede block. And so when I, once I switched to the, this little piece of um, microfiber, I mean, it just goes on much better. And of course they are gonna, for me, I find that the saver, saver applicators do save um, product. So I'm just gonna box it in because that's where I am to start. So actually let me get my phone because I wanted to time it. So I should have turned it on right now, but we'll do it now. In this temperature, it's taking a little bit longer for it to flash. Okay, I'm gonna reset. So for me, it's about four minutes uh, before it starts to really flash. So I'm gonna just kind of just set this up here. Uh, we can talk about more about the coating here for four minutes. Uh, the other reason I, why I bought this is because they posted a video on their, so I watched the Instagram live video and they just talked about the coating and they showed the application of the, of the prep and stuff, but they didn't really just show the water behavior of it. So then they had the a video on their YouTube page that showed the water behavior and I was like, well, that does not look good whatsoever. And so I um, made a comment on the on their page to say, you know, hopefully maybe it's the angle, but it doesn't show the true uh, water behavior. It just didn't look good. So they said they were going to get back to um, a better angle. I haven't seen it yet. And so I went ahead and just took a gamble on buying this and put it on my personal vehicle and we'll see how it does uh, in terms of it um, performing you know for water behavior i'm gonna put this in front so i can have the clock there so that's kind of one one reason why i bought it you know i'm always interested in finding a glass coating that performs really well and actually let me get the other ones here and i'll show you which ones i really do enjoy using um, thus far playing around with uh, glass coatings recently um, you know fly by forte i do like it one drawback with fly by forte is you have to get the application right and you know this side i got it right that side i got it about 95 percent right but um, this side was still had better water behavior uh, on the rear glass i got it perfect and it just works very well uh, but that product is still a bit finicky where you have to get it just right in order for it to perform uh, very well for you and so then I started playing around with uh, PNS view and for me this has been probably my favorite glass coating in quite some time I still have about a quarter of a bottle left and I actually put this on the rear window 
back there and on, on the front window I put uh, this uh, stoners one um, but I ended up using this here and I find that this performs very well it's on the Camaro and I really do enjoy it and then I put the nano graphene window card on my dad's which surprisingly has held up very well um, coming up on a year I think I'm gonna go ahead and re polish that glass and there's a mosquito flying in here and um, recode it. it doesn't really need it uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it but yeah this this glass coating from uh, art to shine has been uh, really well uh, performing very well I should say and so then I was like oh, let me give the invisible glass a, a shot you know I don't know who makes it, it says it's made in um, in, in the USA so I don't know who who blends this for them it could be B&B, it could be another blender uh, on the east coast so I wanted to just give it a shot and see how it performs and if it doesn't live up to the to the hype then by all means then we'll just won't recommend it but hey I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to perform pretty well um, the only thing like I said when you when I'm wiping it off I found it's not as slick as the other two glass coatings the other two glass coatings I could tell were on the surface I wiped off for example I put them the McKee's graphene coating here and slick even the ceramic is slick uh, but this is just feels tacky at room and um, so I don't know if it's just the byproduct of the coating or if it's to be expected is it gonna get slicker as it hardens I don't know um, you know I'll find out uh, tomorrow morning but you know it, it rainbows so I, I don't know if you guys can actually see the rainbow effect on here and it, that's pretty much just telling you hey you know uh, I'm ready to be wiped off uh, you like I said you have one to five minutes to to get it wiped off and I can say it's already starting to tack up with my finger there so the last one I did four and a half minutes I'm gonna do four and a half minutes again and uh, actually I'm gonna let it go for the full five minutes and we'll see if it's um, no, it's starting to tack up so yeah about four and a half minutes for me is uh, about the right time for for it to be wiped off so it has a real long uh, window for wipe off and then once you wipe it off it's um, it comes off real easy uh, just don't expect it to be um, very slick like um, if you're like I said I don't know if most any of you have used PNS view which I do recommend um, trying out I think that's probably that's a fantastic coating by by those guys So this towel, we're just going to use that to level. I'll put that there for now. And then we'll use this towel um, as the insurance towel. But yeah, this thing feels really grabby, like uncoated glass. It's a, it's a strange feeling. And you're and then when you're looking, when you... And you're thinking to yourself, like, did I get that application right? You know, is it on? Um... I don't know. We'll have to find out once I wash it if it's if it's on there because I mean it just it just doesn't wipe off slick like other coatings and that I'm used to. Okay, so let me just go ahead and flip this over. So it doesn't load up on me with product. Although the black towel picked up most of it. But yeah, this thing's just dragging on here and it's kind of a pain. I thought it was a towel. I tried a Kirkland microfiber on the other side, on the side glass. It's not the towel, it's the product. That's just a byproduct of of it, and you know. So I hope it's on there. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't have any high spots on here because they're gonna drive me crazy. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not like I said, it's not that difficult to work with. Uh, I just think it's a little different in the sensation when it when you wipe it off. But hopefully, it it does get slicker. 
um, as it starts to cure. And then the other drawback is you have to wait two hours before you uh, put a second layer on there. You know, with PNS and um, Art to Shine, uh, those you can put on uh, within an hour after the application, which um, is nice. And you don't need two layers. You only need two. I only I always put two layers on the front glass because that's where I want my maximum durability. Anywhere that has a wiper blade, I want maximum durability. And so I put two layers always on the front, and then on the side glass, I always put um, one layer. So um, I'm just coming over here to make sure I got everything wiped off. Um, but yeah, that's the um, glass coating from uh, um, Stoner's Car Care from Invisible Glass, the makers of Invisible Glass. Uh, it's their ceramic glass coating. If you guys are interested in trying this out, I will post a link where you can get it. You can, right now, it's available directly from them. I will post the discount code that I used, and hopefully it still works where you can actually just purchase it. But again, you'll end up with the entire kit. Or you can just pre-order from Detailed Image. Uh, right now, during Black Friday, it's 25% off. And um, if I don't know if, if I'm going to have this video up by then. Um, but if not, you, know, I'll, I'll, you can always use my affiliate link to get 10% uh, off the product at any, any time. So again, that's, uh, that's the uh, Invisible Glass uh, Ceramic Coating. Uh, if you have any comments or questions on this one, I will post up uh, the first wash video to show you the, uh, um, the hydrophobics of the product. Hopefully they're good, man. I, I'm, I'm really hoping that this is a good product because for $60, 30 milliliters, I mean, that's a really good buy because the price for uh, PNS View is $100. And so if you wait for a sale, um, that's probably the best time to buy it because you can get it for 25% off. And if you get Art to Shine, I want to say Art to Shine is up in the $60 range as well. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know off the top of my head. And this is 30 mil. So if, if um, this turns out to be a, a good performer, even if it lasts a year, I think uh, this, you know, they have a, a winner in their lineup, uh, even though the the application is um, uh, not as slick as these other ones. So, again, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and post them down below. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the first wash video of the Invisible Glass Ceramic Glass Coating.